Mixed martial arts is a very interesting and exciting sport. Where else but here can you see giants trying to knock each other out? In this video, we will show you 10 battles of the titans in MMA. At the end of 2003, Bob Sapp was involved in a highly publicized matchup at the K1 Premium 2003 Dynamite against Akibono Taro, for whom this was his debut match. Although outweighed by over 150 pounds, Sapp had the advantage at experience and stamina, allowing him to endure Akibono's initially energetic sumo pushes in order to counterattack. He attacked Akibono with low kicks and punching combinations to the head and body, knocking him down twice before finishing him by KO at 2 minutes and 58 seconds. In December 2006, Akibono faced another serious rival, Giant Silva. Akibono started the match pushing Silva against the ropes, both of them almost falling out of the ring due to their combined weight. But Silva interrupted his attack by locking him in a chimera while standing. In July 2005, Sapp returned to MMA for Heroes, where he was pitted against Russian sumo wrestler Alan Kereyev. With Sapp's former opponent Akibono in attendance, Kereyev surprised the American with his aggression and a quick takedown to mount. But Sapp managed to get out after a failed rear naked choke attempt and hold his own mount for a longer time. They restarted the fight on their feet, and Sap knocked Kareyev out with a left jab. Emmanuel Yarbrough's second MMA fight would be in Japan for the promotion Shuto. He faced Tatsuo Nakano, a former shoot-style professional wrestler whom Yarbrough outsized greatly. This time, the sumo wrestler got the advantage of fighting in a ring as opposed to an octagon and cornered Nakano against the turnbuckle, taking a dominant position over him. When the contenders were relocated to the center of the ring, Yarbro just shifted his abdomen over Nakano's head. Unable to get out from under his opponent and being smothered by the weight, the Japanese fighter tapped out, giving Yarbro his first and only victory. In May 2012, Polish fighter Mariusz Pudzianowski, former holder of the title The Strongest Man in the World, is now trying his hand at MMA against the beast Bob Sapp. Marius won via TKO in the first round, battering Sapp with a barrage of punches and securing a takedown, followed with more punches to win just 39 seconds into the fight. In April 2016, professional Russian heavyweight MMA fighter and six times world combat sambo champion Kirill Sidelnikov pits his skill against American strongman and highly skilled athlete Chris Barnett, nicknamed Huggy Bear. <laughs> Look. 
话，他们之前也是曾经。哦，哇，出现了一个，啊，出现爆刷呀！请进入了地面战。这黑熊太过于抗打。对。哎呦，刚才危险。对。The fight went the full distance, with Sadelnikov emerging as the winner. In October 2008, Alexandru Lungu entered the ring against a giant weighing about 400 pounds, Mark Bentley. Lungu defeated Bentley with punches in the first round. In March 2012, Bob Sapp fought in the main event of the Super Fight League's inaugural event against James Thompson. Big bomb thrown by James Thompson. Traps the offense away. And now it's James Thompson. Sapp tapped out after a takedown from Thompson that caused a leg injury to Sapp in the first round. It looks like he hurt his leg. He hurt his knee. It looked at that scrambling. Bob Sapp tweaked his knee and it turned over. On October 2011, super heavyweight Romanian Judica and MMA fighter Alexandru Lungu made his professional kickboxing debut against the beast Bob Sapp. Lungu won via knockout in the first round. In September 2010, Eric Esch met in the ring with the Polish fighter Mariusz Pudzanowski. After several exchanges of strikes while standing, Pudzianowski attacked and took Esch down, proceeding to throw numerous punches from the side in a ground and pound attack. Esch, unable to get to his feet, tapped out in just 1 minute 15 seconds in the first round. In September 2005, K1 Grand Prix, in his first fight of the tournament, Bob Sapp won against Korean giant Choi Hongman. Choi's large reach and great size allowed him to land hits frequently when Sapp charged. But Sapp pressed on and got an early knockdown by low kicks to the knee. However, although Sapp came aggressively again in the second round, his stamina started faltering, giving Choi the chance to unload multiple punches. Ultimately, a series of aggressive exchanges between equally tired Sapp and Choi were decided in Choi's favor, granting him a victory by majority decision. That's all for today. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos. See you next time.